Hi everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and in this tutorial I will be setting up a super simple Raspberry Pi photo frame. This is a perfect setup for anyone who wants to display photos of loved ones, memories, or anything else you might want to display. This is a pretty straightforward project and shouldn't take you too long to set up. I only cover the software side of things in this tutorial, but there are some pretty cool frame designs out there if you're looking to extend this one step further. For this project I'm using the official Raspberry Pi touchscreen that I purchased earlier this year. However you can pretty much use any screen that you can get your hands on. Just make sure you can hook it up to the Pi either over the DSi port, HDMI port or using a custom hat. If you are interested in the Raspberry Pi touchscreen then be sure to check out my video on it. If you are looking for some 3D printable frames for either the official touchscreen or just a spare screen you have then Thingiverse has some pretty cool designs. You can find them over at Thingiverse.com. In order to get this all set up correctly we are going to need to do a bit of setting up on the software side of things. Firstly we want to prevent the screen from going blank. This is a power saving setting on the Pi. To make sure the screen doesn't go blank we need to add a line to the lightdm config file. To do this open the file by entering the following command sudo nano slash etc slash lightdm slash lightdm.conf Underneath the seats defaults header add the following line x server dash command equals capital X dash s zero dash dpms. Once you have entered this exit and save by pressing ctrl plus x and then y. Now reboot by entering the following command sudo reboot. This should prevent our screen from ever going blank which is perfect for what we want. If you want the screen to go blank for a while then just simply skip this step. If you want to be able to drag and drop your images onto the Pi you may want to look at setting up your very own network attached storage also known as a NAS. A NAS will allow you to set up a folder that is available on your local network. If you're interested in doing such a thing then check out my guide on the Raspberry Pi network attached storage. It will take you through all the necessary steps for setting it up. I also highly recommend that you set up SSH so you will have remote access when the slideshow is in action. There is no easy way to exit the slideshow unless you turn the device on and off and don't have it automatically starting. To set up our slideshow we're going to use a package called FET. FET is an image viewer and cataloger. It is best known for being a fast image viewer that doesn't get bogged down with huge GUI dependencies. I chose this as it was the most lightweight and worked without any huge complications. To install the package enter the following line sudo apt-get install fair. Now to test that it all works enter the following line replacing slash media slash nas hdd1 slash test with your own directory that contains all the images. Display equals colon 0.0, .0 x authority equals slash home slash pi slash dot x authority space slash usr slash bin slash fair dash dash quiet dash dash preload dash dash randomize dash dash full dash screen dash dash reload 60 dash y dash slideshow dash delay 15 slash media slash nas hdd1 slash test as soon as you enter this command you should have a slideshow up and going in a couple of minutes. Simply use Ctrl C to cancel the script and gain control to the command line again. Now we can use shorter flags to make this command a lot shorter. You can read more about all the flags you can use for the FEF package over at the FEF manual page. As you're probably noticing this is locking up the command line. Using Ctrl C is an easy way to regain control but if you want it to launch in the background then just use a ampersand at the end of the command. So now let's store this in a simple script file. This way you can add or change it later easily. To make the file enter the following command sudo nano slash home slash pi slash start dash picture dash frame dot sh. In here enter the following lines hash exclamation mark slash bin slash bash display equals colon 0.0, .0 x authority equals slash home slash pi slash dot x authority space slash usr slash bin slash fair dash q dash p dash capital z dash capital f dash capital r 60 
dash capital Y dash capital D 15.0 slash media slash NAS HDD1 slash test. Don't forget to replace slash media slash NAS HDD1 slash test with your own folder. Once done, save and exit. Now that's done, you can test it by running the following command. sudo bash slash home slash pi slash start dash picture dash frame dot sh. This should run without any errors and your slideshow should now be displayed. Again, press Ctrl C to cancel the command. Finally, let's have it start at boot. Now it is important that you have SSH enabled so you can gain access to the Pi remotely as you will lose access to the GUI slash screen. So make sure you have done this before setting it to launch at boot up. To do this, open up the rc.local file by entering the following command. sudo nano slash etc slash rc dot local add the following lines before the exit zero line sleep 10 sudo bash slash home slash pi slash start dash picture dash frame dot sh and then an ampersand now let's finally test it by typing sudo reboot if you ever need to kill the process so you can gain access to the screen again, you will need to SSH in and use the following command, sudo pkill fair. This will kill the fair process, thus stopping our slideshow. You should now have your very own slideshow of pictures going. If you end up with any troubles, then double check all the steps that we just went through. I hope you have been able to get this Raspberry Pi photo frame working correctly. If you run into any problems, or you have an extension you'd like to share, or anything else, then be sure to drop a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides, and much more.